Uh, hello, let us look at uh, sketching uh, trig function y equals tangent of x. So let us try to do this one. Before we begin, I want you to complete this table. Uh, x goes from 0 through 90, as you guys can see here, and y value is the tangent of x. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of time for you to uh, do this one, and then we'll try to see what we can do together. All right, so I'm going to assume that you already have done it. Uh, so at this point, let's try to fill this fill these values out. Now, I'm going to use calculator here. So what I'm going to do is I put it y equals tangent of x. And then I uh, set up the table as a starting from 0. And independent uh, you know, values has to be asked. Then in that case, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to uh, end up having is I'm going to have this blank uh, chart so I could dictate what x value will be x equals 0 and then 30 60 and 80 it's getting bigger 85 11.43 notice the sine and cosine went only up to 1 and negative 1 but in case of tangent it can go far farther so how about 89 57 wow that's very high but but if I uh, plug in 90 then it's gonna be error so what does that mean how does this graph so in fact what I'm going to do is this I'm gonna just copy these values down here zero point five eight five point Six seven eleven point four three. Oh, I forgot the one value here in between. Sorry about that. And then one point seven three, and then five point six seven eleven point four three fifty seven point two nine. And then it says undefined. That's why it's, it says error. Now, given that, uh, let's try to put the values in together. When the angle is 30 degrees. So I, I made a, a small table, I mean, small uh, graph uh, set up. Y, uh, y, values are, y values goes up uh, all the way up to 5. And then X value goes up all the way up to 360. Now, first, what I can do is I can... Uh, start with the zero zero. That's the beginning point. This seems now. How about thirty degrees? Thirty degrees. This would have been equal to one, but this is point five, so a little bit higher than that point six. How about uh, sixty degrees? This is one point five, but we're looking for one point seven three, so a little bit higher than that. That becomes a value for the 60 degrees. How about 80? 80 is 5 point something. So soon as I, this is 75, but 75, uh, 80 will be a little bit higher, but it's going to be way up there. And then if I want to connect those uh, points together, goes up that way. But how about when it's 90? Since we don't have any particular value uh, that will that will be under 90 degrees, what we can do is I, we can, I can have an imaginary line right here, dotted line, so that uh, the values don't cross over. All right. Now let's look at the next. Uh, so this was true for the first quadrant. But did you realize the second and then third and fourth quadrant will all have always have the same values except the signs? So if that's the uh, first part of the graph, how about the second part of the graph? It will be exactly the same thing as this one, except that it will pass through the uh, zero mark right over here. So then our graph would have been something like this on the left side. How about the right side? When will be the uh, next value of x uh, where um, the y value will be not defined? In fact, if you're to uh, 
think about the reference angle, another place where they have uh, reference, I mean, vertical isotope will be at uh, seven, 270, right over here. And then I'm just going to sketch the graph in this way. And then the last one is the same thing as this way. You see, notice that uh, second quadrant and then fourth quadrant uh, X, uh, similarly, and then uh, first and third will act similarly as well. Now, so then that's what we have so far. Uh, so then let's try to look at a, let's take a, a, a closer look at tangent of x. So this is the uh, how the function looks, uh, looks like from the graphing calculator. But did you notice something here? In case of sine and then cosine, we only have one cycle. But how about in tangent? Notice that this red, uh, I mean uh, the uh, blue one repeats itself as I have indicated here. And then And you can see that we have two cycles uh, within 0 through 360. Then what is the frequency when uh, y equals tangent of x is given? As you can see right over here, we have one cycle and then two cycles going on. So the answer is 2. Then what is the period? Period is uh, 2 pi over frequency. So the period will be 2 pi over uh, 2, which is equal to pi. This makes so much sense because every pi, it will finish up one cycle. Now, so then, instead of having y equals tangent of x, what if you have y equals tangent of 2x? So one way which we can do is, uh, is uh, you can use the calculator here, and then right underneath of tangent of x, I'm going to type in tangent of 2x. And then I'm going to sketch that. So notice that the red one is the new uh, function that I have uh, put it in here to sketch. And as you can see, the red one, we have more red ones than blue ones. Then how can I uh, sketch this one? Then in this case, so here we have the red one is uh, y equals tangent of 2x, but how many cycles do you see here? Interestingly, uh, you will see one cycle. How many of them do you have? Two, three, and then four. So in fact, here we can see that frequency is equal to 4. Uh, hence, uh, period So uh, period will be 2 pi, or in this case, 360 degrees divided by uh, 4, which will be 90 degrees, since our domain was in degrees. All right, now, um, that's about it. So then, how about, what if I were to give you a uh, sketch one cycle of tangent of 3x? Then we know that the uh, period or frequency is equal to 3, so period must be uh, 2 pi over 3. Now, then uh, what I'm going to do is this simply to sketch. So what I could have done uh, using just uh, without much help from the graphing calculator, what I can do is I can sketch the uh, tangent of 3x function going up this way. 
So that, that would have been one cycle, but what is the value ending? That's 2 pi over 3. And this middle point between those two parts of the graph is half of this, we get pi over 3. All right, so then as you can see, we couldn't finish up uh, one cycle uh, within uh, 2 pi over 3. Now, so from here, I guess we can figure out the general case in a way that if I have y equals tangent of dx, then in this case, you can see that frequency will be equal to 2b and period Uh, will be 2 uh, pi over uh, frequency, which will be equal to pi over 6. All right, we just uh, made a quick summary here. Then, how about this one? Why don't you sketch y equals uh, negative tangent of x? When you have negative sign in the front of it, then what happens? In fact, Tangent of x will have gone up to here, but since it's negative, all right, so that this will be how the tangent graph looks like, but because of the negative sign. What's going to be happening is this will look uh, come down first, and then this one will, in fact, so that will be uh, y equals uh, negative tangent of x. But the fact that actually, uh, since it's just regular tangent of x, we have to finish this one just one more time. Alright, so here we get this portion will be 360 degrees. The middle will be 180 degrees for y equals negative tangent of x. Alright, so we're going to stop here for now and I'll see you later. Bye bye.